Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna continue talking about the Python in Dynamo. Uh, as you can see, I already opened my Dynamo. So, as you can see, I'm not uh, spending your time. Today we will talk about the list. So we are continuing to learn it and the next topic is the list. What is the list and how we can create the list in Dynamo. The first thing, uh, let me show you how you can create list uh, without the Python. This is really important because uh, after that I will develop uh, this idea in Python and you will better understand why it's Python more powerful than just using the Dynamo code blocks. Let me let me show you. Just double left click on your mouse and you get the code block. And let's write. Uh, for example, your list, we will call it same list. Let me write here the list will be equal and here inside in brackets we will write the sum data. For example, 2, 34, 56. Done. And as you can see inside we get our data. Also we can uh, write here the another list. Let's call it another list. Another list equal and let's write the data here again 2.1 3.45 and 88 for example we didn't get anything here as you can see but if i will use the watch where's my watch i will connect it here you will see its date the it's its date is here and uh, our previous one in this one as you can see, it's still here because we can see now only the last one in this area. But actually, we have the two different lists. So, like this, it's working in uh, Dynamo without the Python. This is, will be a good example for you because we will use it right now. Right click and let's say the Python, Python script, and let's go back inside to the Python. Here inside we are in Python, let's delete everything inside, we will leave only output. And here, as example, I will start wrote the first function. Let's say the first function will be called, not the list, we will call it number, number list. As you can see, I am always using the laying, unders uh, laying the mm, it's underscore. Uh, why I'm using that? Because when uh, this is actually about the naming, I think maybe I will talk about the naming in the next tutorial. Because uh, doesn't matter you're working in Revit or you're working in Python, naming it's really important, even in programming, as you can see. Okay, the number list. This is our first function, and let's say equal. And as you can understand, we will write uh, like 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 it's uh, you can see it here. Let's write the different numbers, uh, 32, 21, 48, maybe 34.1. And if I will save the changes, I not will see any outputs, as you remember, because our output is equal to the zero. But our output should be equal to the number list, because we want to see this function like output. Let's save it. And as you can see, here is the, our output. Here, uh, one important thing. As you can see, here we have the integer number. But the last one, this is uh, the uh, float number. In list, you can put any data inside, I mean, uh, by one by one. For example, you can put, uh, I don't know, here you can put the float, here you can put the string, and here you put the um, just integer. And yes, we can also put inside to the our list the uh, string. And let's, let's do that. Let's create the another number list. Let's say equal. Oh, sorry. Here I did the mistake. This will be better. Equal. And let's write another data here. For example, 12, 54, 55.5, and maybe hello world. That's it. Now we want to get uh, it uh, in output. So what we can do? Actually, the nice thing in Python, uh, you no need, for example, use some extra nodes. You can just say, and please print me this list too. 
let's save it and as you can see here we get the two lists so the same scheme like here as you can see we have here the integer we have here the float and we have the here the string and string it's not just one letter on one word we can put it there even the some sentences if you want the big one so it's only limitless by your imagination that's it okay this is some simple thing now we will talk about more about the list because if everything inside our list have the index you already understand or might be understand what's the what is that index so and i will show you now uh, on the example on the list what is that the indexes inside the list let's say the other list i want to get only the word hello world and here it's nice thing we, because we can see directly index of each data as you can see zero this is index for the 12 and 3 it's index for the hello world this is nice for us it make our life my, much easiest let me will open my uh, python script and actually we no need to do anything we just need write here the another script before i will do that let me i will get the length of our list how we can do that as you remember this is pretty simple you just need to write the command the len let me i will write the command the len len dot oh not dot brackets and let's write here inside will be another list i'll put it here inside let's run it as you can see we get the four why we get four out of two three because as you remember yes this is a tutorial for the new people as you remember the in programming all things starting from the zero so if you will include the zero when you will calculate uh, how many data you have it will be four uh, zero one two three or one two three four so that's why it will be four so it maybe help you uh, it it this comment will help you in some situation i just will leave it here and we will write now another example as i said let's take our hello world out so we want to only get the hello world how we can do that let's write another list and we will write inside these brackets only three let's run it and as you can see we get only hello world why because the index tree equal to the hello world this is pretty awesome because you can get only some data from dynamo from the Revit. not all of the data you can do it by this way also from the previous tutorial i think i hope you remember the another thing let me will copy this python script because it's already so huge we will delete all the things all we will leave only the number of the list i will leave only the number of the list it will make your life much easiest and let's say you want to get only some of the data for example all uh, all of the data you want to get but uh, it, it shouldn't be include first uh, number so how you can do that you can write for example like this let's save it let's run it actually and as you can see you get 32 why you get 32 because i wrote it's wrong as you can see i want to get all the data till one so here is nothing it means it's starting from zero and till one so this is wrong if i will wrote like this for example from the one i will get everything without 32 as you can see 21 48 and 34.1 will be here but 32 it's not here so we're starting from the zero but our new index as you can see will be different zero one two it's not starting from the one two three so as you can see you should remember that because index always will start from the zero okay you also can write for example let me write here the more numbers even not numbers 42 maybe let's write a bit bigger number let's write like uh, uh, hello and uh, maybe only some words letter i mean and let's run it as you can see we get it and let's do the same thing three till five let's run it and you oh 
it's my mistake, till 5. And as you can see, we get data from the uh, 3 to the 5. This is pretty awesome. And let's do the one more thing, uh, what we did in previous tutorial. Let's write again number, number, list. And now inside in the brackets, we will write the nice thing, if you remember, minus 1. Let's run it. We get all the data, but in reverse. Now F, it was last, it's the first. So, as you can see now, we already can manipulate this data. We learned only the few things, but now with Dynamo you, and Python, you can already manipulate with your data. You don't need to look the node reverse. You can do it inside in the Python script. So you can wrote, for example, big formula, and after that, you can reverse it if you want, and, um, and uh, did output. Okay, so we playing with that thing, and it will close it. Let me, I will, uh, let me I will copy it here. And let's say in one day you wanna uh, add some new, uh, for example, you have the hello, and after that you wanna get world. You wanna add some extra data. How you can do that? Let me, I will show you. For that thing, I already copied another Python script. As you can see, we have here the worlds. Uh, I mean the datas, and number six of the index, I want to get world. So we want to get hello world. How we can do that? We should use the new command. Let's write here the number, number, list, dot, append, append, and after that inside we will write here world, as you can see, we're already printing the our number list, so we don't need to change anything, just let's run it. And as you can see, the last world, now we get the world. But as you can see also, the world, now this is last number. But you wanna get, for example, you wanna put it on the first. Uh, it should be, be index number one, for example. Or maybe it shouldn't be on the sum, um, another index, for example, number three. How you can do that? Let's add another number number, list, and now we will use the another command, so this is uh, also including, uh, we can uh, add some data, but by index. So this is another command calling the insert. So as you can see, the Dynamo trying help us. Let's say OK, this is will be insert, and what we want to insert inside. Uh, index it will be 0, and this is will be, uh, I don't know, start. It will be just start. And so let's run it. As you can see now by index uh, zero, we get uh, word start. Also, you can put not only just a name, you can put, the, mm, for example, some uh, numbers. Let me I'll say the number, index number three will be 999, why not? Let's run it, and as you can see, index number 3 get number 999. Uh, also, you can slice it. You remember, we already did it today. So you can slice it, so you can get some data, so which you want. So as you can see, now the list becoming more and more complicated, but useful. What else we can do that? For example, we can create the new command. Let's say uh, list number 1 equal uh, number list till tree and another one will be uh, list number two equal number list and let's say it will be I don't know uh, till five from five we get some numbers and now we wanna join it we wanna get a union of uh, that so new list let's call it new list new list equal and what we're gonna do now list number one plus list number two and output will be new list so what we will get, we get somewhere wrong, let me see, okay, this is a string, 
What is the type of the uh, wrong? As you can see, name error. Uh -huh. Numberless is not defined. Defined. Okay, uh, the Python it's already uh, helping us to understand what's going on. Uh, actually, the command list number two, uh, the Python cannot find it. So we don't have this function. What's going on? Let me see. List number two. Okay, here's everything correct. So you should be be careful when you're writing the code. And here's list number two. Okay, everything right. But list number number okay here is the uh, mistake spelling uh, it's number it's not number uh, and let's try it now everything working just be careful when you writing your code because uh, the python in dynamo not helping you like uh, in another uh, type of idea ida uh, to find your um, mis misspelling or something like that Let's see, uh, let's, uh, okay, new list, list number one, list number two, what is that here? Okay, list number one, we have this one, and list number two, we have this one. And the new list is here, the new list start till 21, as you can see, and the list three till 34, it's still here. And as you can see, we get the new list, let me I'll delete this one. And let's run it again. And as you can see, here is the new list we get. This is pretty awesome. Uh, also, we can see, for example, we can say uh, hello world. Uh, so we know the our sta uh, our index in number list. Our index is seven and eight. So let's say the number list here will be index seven. Here will be index eight. And let's run it. And as you can see, hello world. But it's the like a one word word this is a mistake so for that one that thing we can use this thing and here will be a space bar let's run it and as you can see hello world here but all this data come from the list as you can see as you can see the list really can help us with a lot of the things in next tutorial we will continue to learn the, uh, how we can work the, with the list because it's not actually finished we have a lot of the things in the list your homework will be uh, pretty easy you should write uh, the number list and inside the number list will be uh, as you understand hello and here will be world your homework you should get the same thing like i did you should get the new list with the world hello not hello world world hello so it should be a bit different in different uh, i mean the reversed okay try it if you not will uh, finish that let me know be below the comments and uh, maybe uh, not maybe in the next time we will see how we can do that uh, before we'll start the next lesson. Thank you guys uh, for watching and see you next time.